Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In an ever-changing world, nothing truly stays the same. As technology becomes more advanced, so do the airplanes many see each day. The same goes for airplanes that are not seen in public. Aircraft used today are more innovative and durable than ones that may have been seen 20 or more years ago, such as the B-2 Spirit Bomber. The B-2 bomber first took off in July of 1989, making its first flight as it left its hangar in Palmdale, California. Since then, it has played a monumental role in American war efforts and has undergone major upgrades. During Operation Allied Forces, the B-2 proved its usefulness by destroying 33% of all Serbian targets in the first eight weeks of the operation. Flying back and forth nonstop from its home base at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri to Kosovo. According to the Air Force, the B-2 Spirit is considered a multi-role bomber, capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. It provides both penetrating flexibility and effectiveness, similar to other manned bombers. One of the most important features of the plane is its stealth characteristics, which help the plane penetrate enemy defenses. This is particularly useful when the Air Force wants to take out heavily defended targets. Along with its low observable technologies, the B-2 also has high aerodynamic efficiency and the ability to carry a large payload. Like any aircraft, the B-2 must undergo routine maintenance. Often completed by the airmen of the 509th and 131st bomb wings, the plane must pass basic tests, as well as have its tires and other equipment checked. In addition, the planes may also go through low observable maintenance, which checks their stealth features. This maintenance may take anywhere from 30 minutes to a day to complete. As the plane must be assessed by sharp eyes before being deemed ready for takeoff. After complete maintenance, the B-2 is nearly ready for its mission. But before it is officially passed for flight, the plane must first go through a series of pre-flight checks. Like most aircraft, these checks consist of careful examination of the cabin, nose, engine, and other parts of the plane, such as the tail and wings. It's imperative to have these checks so that the ground crew can ensure nothing will go wrong with the plane during the flight. Only the best pilots are allowed to fly the B-2 aircraft, as the Air Force makes it difficult to pass the required tests.
As of 2020, only 500 pilots in the United States Air Force have been trained and qualified to fly the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Taking place at Whiteman Air Force Base, the initial qualification training program is difficult, and flying a B-2 requires a performance package submission, unlike most other planes. According to the Air Force, B-2 pilots are considered an elite group, and few are chosen. For the ones that are chosen, however, flying a B-2 is said to be a great honor. Unlike the B-1B's crew of four or the B-52's crew of five, the B-2 has a crew consisting of only two, a pilot in the left seat and a mission commander in the right. The aircraft can fly 6,000 nautical miles without refueling, and 10,000 with only one refuel. Which means pilots may be up in the air for hours. In 2001, the Spirit of America took part in a record-setting 44-hour mission. The best part of it was when we were area refueling, both jets were going up and down, a lot of turbulence. Uh, we didn't have autopilot on or anything like that. The B-2 has the capability of refueling mid-air, thanks to its rotating fuel receptacle. When not on a mission, the B-2 Spirit bombers sit in hangars at the Whiteman Air Force Base. The air-conditioned hangars must be large enough to house the more than 170-foot wingspan of the bomber, while also allowing personnel to conduct maintenance. Due to the sheer size of the aircraft and the frequent maintenance to maintain its stealth, every year, the United States spends millions of dollars annually on plane upkeep. However, many may claim it is necessary due to the importance of the B-2's mission. Considered to be the United States' premier long-range strike bomber, it is important for the plane to always be properly loaded. In fact, the Whiteman Air Force Base conventional weapons team is so highly skilled that they compete in competitions like the Global Strike Challenge. The plane typically carries conventional or nuclear weapons and can hold a payload of 40,000 pounds. which is loaded by a team of experienced members of the 509th Bomb Wing. Across the country, the Air Force has many other hangars that house a myriad of aircraft. Similar to the B-2's hangar, the hangar for the B-1 Lancer is large. Though smaller than the B-2, the Lancer's wingspan is recorded at just under 140 feet. The B-1 is the only supersonic bomber in the Air Force inventory, and we can reach speeds up to 1.2 Mach. Nicknamed the Bone, the B-1 Lancer is a long-range, multi-mission supersonic bomber.
Though it was originally designed for nuclear capabilities, it was switched to strictly conventional in the mid-90s. Now it holds almost 50 world records for speed, payload, range, and time of climb for its class. With a speed of more than 900 miles per hour and a ceiling of more than 30,000 feet, the aircraft is known for its ability to deliver precision and non-precision weapons rapidly. The jet is equipped with three bomb bays and can employ many different types of weapons. It also has the largest internal payload of any bomber. Before its takeoff, however, the aircraft undergoes maintenance. Members of the 34th Aircraft Maintenance Unit perform both pre-flight and post-flight maintenance to ensure utmost safety for the pilots, as well as to maintain the working order of the plane. This may include scheduled or preventative servicing, inspection, testing, repair, and overhaul or modification services to keep the aircraft in shape. When the aircraft finally does take off, it does so with a full afterburner, an additional combustion component used on some jet engines. Its powerful takeoff aids the plane in reaching top speeds in a matter of seconds, which may mean life or death when on a mission. The B-1's four supersonic engines help it achieve this feat. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.